Early evening Saturday at ESA Space Operations Center in Darmstadt, Germany. Several hundred guests are present for a unique event taking place 450 million kilometers away. Traveling through the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, Rosetta, ESA's comet chaser, is about to reveal the secrets of the largest asteroid seen at close quarters, 21 Lutetia. Despite many ground-based observations, this asteroid remains an enigma. Astronomers and graphic illustrators have modeled or imagined its shape, and no one is sure of its composition and origin. Pre-programmed by controllers, five hours before the moment of closest approach, the spacecraft flipped into an upside-down attitude, all of its science instruments ready for the encounter. No longer pointing towards Earth, Rosetta was on its own. Tense moments for the spacecraft manager and the flight director until Rosetta flipped back to send confirmation signals. We have telemetry right now from the spacecraft. Congratulations. And it is absolutely nominal what we can see now. The excitement was not over. Whilst the probe was in the lengthy process of sending back its first pictures, guests at the Space Center watched the ongoing World Cup match for third place. It's 2045 Central European time. Ahead of schedule, there's intense exhilaration, immense pride as the team of Rosetta's Osiris camera discovered the first close-up pictures. We discovered tonight a new world. It's the largest asteroid ever seen by a human, and it's really, really exciting. The inverted pear-shaped elongated body, 130 kilometers at its largest, displays a fascinating landscape. A myriad of craters, large and small, one of them perhaps 70 kilometers in size, flat plains, small boulders and mysterious grooves. Late that evening, the images are presented to the Darmstadt audience. But with all its instruments switched on during the flyby, it will take several weeks for all the information about Lutetia to be sent back and then analyzed. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rosetta continues its odyssey proud of this latest achievement. It will also have beaten a record, becoming the solar-powered spacecraft traveling at the greatest distance ever from the sun. Next January, it will enter hibernation mode, a two-year-long deep sleep in the ice-cold depths of space, before being woken up in 2014 for the final encounter, reaching and going into orbit around the comet.